Now our next topic that is criminal investigation and FIR. This is all related to the FIR. What do you understand by FIR? That is full form of FIR. First information report means if any type of offense is done to any uh, to any person to again against any person then first or foremost step of that person is to file an FIR like aapki ek cycle chori ho jati hai to what you have to do firstly you go to the police station and file a FIR so criminal investigation only will be started when you file an FIR in the police station so FIR is the abbreviated from the first information report it is an information recorded by the police officer on duty given either by the aggrieved part person or any other person about the commission of cognizable offense why it is given cognizable means serious cognizable means serious offense जिसके साथ वो क्राइम हुआ है वो पर्सन या कोई अदर पर्सन भी फाइल कर सकता है एफ आई आर अगेंस्ट हेम ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ हेम दैट दिस इज हैपन इन दैट प्लेस एंड पुलिस विल फाइल एन एफ आई आर इट इज ड्यूटी ऑफ द पुलिस टू फाइल एन एफ आई आर द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेंट एज रिकॉर्डेड अंडर सेक्शन एफ आई आर सेक्शन टॉपिक ऑफ एफ आई आर इज गिवेन अंडर सेक्शन वन फिफ्टी फोर ऑफ सी प्रोसीजर कोर्ट में सेक्शन 154 विल डील्स विद द एफ आई आर द मेन ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ एफ आई आर फ्रॉम पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू ऑफ इन्फॉर्मेंट इज टू सेट द क्रिमिनल लॉ इन मोशन इन केस हसीब वर्सेज स्टेट ऑफ बी आई इट वॉज डिसाइडेड वट वॉज द ऑब्जेक्टिव टू मेक एफ आई आर क्या ऑब्जेक्टिव था द मेन पर्पज टू मेक एन एफ आई आर स्टेटमेंट इज टू सेट द क्रिमिनल लॉ इन मोशन पुलिस को एक्टिव करने के लिए आप एफ आई आर फाइल करते हैं द पुलिस कैन नॉट रिफ्यूज टू रजिस्टर योर कंप्लेंट कंप्लेनेंट को रजिस्टर करने से मना नहीं कर सकती एंड द पावर ऑफ पुलिस टू लॉच एंड एफ आई आर कैन नॉट बी अपस्टिट बाय द मजिस्ट्रेट और मजिस्ट्रेट से छुपाया भी नहीं जाएगा दैट एफ आई आर मस्ट बी प्रेजेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ मजिस्ट्रेट विद इन ट्वेंटी फोर आवर If any person is aggrieved by the refusal on the part of the police officer in charge of police station to record the information, he may send by post the su- substance of such information in written in to the superintendent of the police concerned. Means, the police is re- are refusing. Mostly, it was saying that now police are refusing to record your your statement. then you can also have right to write an letter and post it in the subsequent information to the superintendent of police ko direct post kar dijiye aap under section 754 sub clause 3 says that you can directly send that uh, uh, that application to the superintendent of the police nextly fir can be filed in the police station of the concerned area मीन्स जहाँ पे क्राइम हुआ है उसी एरिया की पुलिस को आप जाके एफ आई आर फाइल करेंगे उन होज यू रिडक्शन दैट ऑफेंस हैज अकर्ड एफ आई आर कैन बी रजिस्टर्ड इधर ऑन रिटर्न और वर्बल स्टेटमेंट ऑफ द कंप्लेनेंट विच इज लेटर रिड्यूज इन रिटर्निंग बाय द पुलिस ऑफिसर एंड इज साइन बाय द कंप्लेनेंट मीन्स हु इज डूइंग द कंप्लेनेंट मैंने कंप्लेन करने गई तो उस रिटर्न उस एप्लीकेशन को रिटर्न भी हो सकती है बार बार मैं बोलूंगी भी पुलिस ऑफिसर्स को रिटर्न भी करेगा एंड गिव दिटर्स दैट स्टेटमेंट विल बी साइन बाय यू इट मस्ट बी मेड ऑन टू द पुलिस ऑफिसर इन चार्ज ऑफ द पुलिस स्टेशन एंड इफ ही इज नॉट अवेलेबल पुलिस ऑफिसर इन चार्ज करेगा उसको रिटर्न अगर वो नहीं है देन असिस्टेंट सब इंस्पेक्टर विल रिकॉर्ड योर योर स्टेटमेंट इज कम्पिटेंट टू एंटर द सेम अपॉन द इन्वेस्टिगेशन On the basis of the FIR, the police starts its investigation. Then the case will be investigated by the police. The police will uh, become active, you know, when you file an FIR. So, Section one fifty four of CRPC provides for the manner in which such information is to be recorded, and the following manner could be drawn from FIR one fifty four one of CRPC means these are important facts of this. एफ आई आर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट ऑफ एफ आई आर विच इज गिवन अंडर सेक्शन वन फिफ्टी फोर ऑफ दिस सी आर पी सी वॉट आर दे फर्स्ट वन 
information of congenital offence can be given by any person to the police having the jurisdiction in the area where the commission of crime took place means any person can give the information to the police about the offence that this area will offence were or that person will go to the that police station only which having the right jurisdiction means power usi area ke police ke paas jayega aur apni fir file karayega fir is not subst substantive piece of evidence ha na substantive piece of evidence nahi hai it has a duty to proved as an other fact by evidence is duty ek evidence nahi hai ki ha ye crime ho hi gaya hai nahi ek duty hai ek provide ek duty aapke ek fact hai ki ha that evidence ab collect karna start kiya jaye and can be used as relevant fact in order to prove the substantive issues substantive issues jo bhi evidence aayenge usko prove karne ke liye that fir can be there but it is not a substantive piece of evidence police officer shall reduce such information must be in written police officer then write that information in written only clear nextly nextly fourth informant signature must be obtained jisne bhi fir ki hai uske signature must be there contents of such information should be read over the to informant and must be entered in record by the police officer jo bhi information aapne di hai that must be read in front of you then you will sign it on it hai na aur ek copy aapko bhi di jayegi police officer shall give the copy of that info, uh, that piece to the informant original fir must be sent to the magistrate for bit original will be sent to the magistrate directly despite a police officer refusing to register an fir the aggrieved party jisko sath crime hua that person is called aggrieved party can send such information to the superintendent of police by post fir is to be made immediately after the occurrence of the incident na turant ja ke aap fir file karenge nahi aap ek mahine baad nahi file kar sakte ab aapke sath crime abhi hua hai aur aap ja ke one month baad kar rahe nahi you have to file immediately and if i had to the police station when the memory of the person giving it is fresh in his mind about the occurrence last <coughs> telephonic information must from the accredited person a certain person which discloses commission of the considerable offense would also be constitute fir for me batate na ki yahan sir is place mein aa jaiye yahan pe crime hua murder hua aur aap apko naam nahi batana chahte tab bhi wo kya kehlayegi fir this is your own secure case telephonic information is also called an fir clear this is the important tent important facts of the fir which everybody will have to be know clear about the fir nextly nextly it was given that information to the police as to non congenital offences ha na ab non congenital this is all about the congenital offence serious type of offence but information about non congenital offence congenital means so non congenital is not serious type of offences so section 155 of crpc provides that if any persons give information to an officer in charge of police station of a commission of non congenital offence then the officer shall enter or cause to be enter the substance of the information the book prescribed of this purpose means person when any non congenital offence will be done then that section will be deal under section 155 of the crpc police officer write that information in the prescribed book ek book mein likh dega jo bhi aapke police officer ko diary milti hai that is called police diary the police officer has no further duty unless magistrate directs the police officer to investigate the case in the non congenital offence magistrate jab tak order nahi dega wo investigation start nahi karega but in the congenital offence they can instantly start the investigation kyun serious type of offences hain isme magistrate aapki aapko pehle order dega then you will start the investigation generally we speak in non congenital offences are more or less considered as a private criminal laws and the basic rule is no police officer shall investigate a non congenital offence without the order of the magistrate having power to try such case or commit the case of court trial without the permission of the magistrate no police officer can start it, its or her investigation in the non congenital offences clear this is the new one this is the difference between congenital and non congenital offences under the fir in a situation where the criminal case consists of both agar don case aisa hai jisme doni case lagta hai congenital aur non congenital offences then that case shall be deemed to be congenital 
दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट डेट अगर एक सीरियस ऑफेंस है और नॉन सीरियस भी लाइक आपके साथ मर्डर भी हुआ है और आपको साथ आपके घर में थैफ भी हुआ है है ना थैफ कॉन्ग्रेसिबल है और नॉन कॉन्ग्रेसिबल है और मर्डर कॉन्ग्रेसिबल ऑफेंस है सो so, उस पूरे ऑफेंस को क्या लिया जाएगा कॉग्निजेबल सीरियस टाइप ऑफ ऑफेंस लिया जाएगा नॉट विथ स्टैंडिंग दैट अदर ऑफेंस आर नॉन कॉग्निजेबल ये नहीं देखा जाएगा कि अदर ऑफेंस नॉन सीरियस टाइप का दैट फुल ऑफेंस विल बी कंसीडर एज कॉग्निजेबल एंड दैट केस विल बी फाइल इंडर सेक्शन 154 ऑफ द सी आर पी सी एज एफ आई आर क्लियर नाउ अबाउट द एफ आई आर बिटवीन द कॉग्निजेबल एंड नॉन कॉग्निजेबल ऑफेंसेस